Because of how logical operators are evaluated in JavaScript, and also the nature of truthy and falsy, it is possible to trim verbose expressions and make them more concise. In this tutorial, we are going to look at a couple of examples of concise expressions and what it can teach us about how logical operators work. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. If you're not familiar with the concept of truthy and falsy in JavaScript, take a moment to view that tutorial first. I will provide a link in the description section. Understanding truthy and falsy and realizing that the logical and and the logical or operators evaluate from left to right provides the ability to write concise expression. I want to take a look at a couple of examples, one using or and the other using and. I think this can not only teach you some concise expressions, but it helps us understand the way the logical and and the logical or operator work and the nature of truthy and falsy in JavaScript. So let me jump to Sublime and we'll get started. Now notice I have a function here and it has a parameter that can be passed in val. And then we're checking to see that parameter exists or not. Now notice how we do that. We do that with the not operator. So if val is a falsy value, which undefined is, then this if expression will execute and val will be assigned a value of 10. So basically what that is doing is setting a default value for this parameter. Now there's another way to do this with ES6 that is much better and I'll show you that in a minute. But what, the reason I use this example is because I want to illustrate a concise expression. Now we can accomplish the same thing this way. I'm going to create a new function going to accomplish the same purpose as the fun function. The main difference is it will do it with concise expressions. So we do it this way. And this one uses the logical or. Let me put a console log statement in here just to log that out. Now, if we were to call both of these, first without a value, and then let's call it with a value. Let's call it with five. Let's see if they return the same thing. So I'm going to refresh that and then open up the console. And there we get them returning the same thing, 10, 10, 5, 5. Now let's talk about why that works. Now understanding the if expression is much simpler. But why does it work down here the same way? Well, what happens when we use a logical operator is it begins evaluating the expression on the left hand side. So first it evaluates this. What does this evaluate to? Well, if it's undefined, it evaluates to false, a falsy value. If it is defined, it will evaluate to true, a truthy value. If it evaluates to false, then the logical or causes it to evaluate the next expression. And basically what that does is evaluates to true because it is a value that's a truthy value. And then that's what gets assigned to this variable. So that's how it works. And notice that this is much more concise than an if expression. And it accomplishes the same thing. Now that is using the logical or. Now I mentioned that this particular example where we have a default value, that's really what we're doing here is defining, is assigning a default value. That can be done using an addition to, that was provided in ES6. Let me just paste in that example really quick so we can see that in case some of you aren't familiar with that yet. So basically, if we want to assign a default value to a parameter, we simply 
put equal and then the value that is the default. Now notice that when we call fun2 without something, it will return a 10. When we call fun2 with 5, it will return a 5. So it works the same way. Go ahead and refresh that and we get the 10 and the 5 down here. So that's a better way to do a default value. But this shows what you can construct using a logical OR. All right, now let's take a look at a logical AND example. I'm going to copy in some that's a function that's already complete here. And this is a test function. Now we're passing a number into this test function. We want to test to see if it meets certain criteria. Now notice what I've done here. I have three different sets of criteria separated by logical AND. Now I realize I could do this one and this one together, but I wanted to do three to illustrate that this could be done with more than a single expression. All right. Now, the way this is going to evaluate is it first evaluates the leftmost expression. And if that evaluates to true, then it continues on to the next one. If that evaluates to true, then it continues on to the next one. Okay, That's pretty easy to understand with an if. And then if all of those evaluate to true, then we return a true, else we return a false. But let's take a look at how we would do this with a concise expression. So I'm going to create a test1 function and that's going to pass in a num as well. And then here's the concise expression. We're simply going to indicate return num greater than zero. We'll do that first. And then the logical and num greater than or equal to 5. Logical and again, num less than equal to 10. Now why does this work? Why is this going to work for us? Well, same way we described the logical and working up here, it evaluates the first expression on the left. If that evaluates to true, then it goes to the next one. If that evaluates to true, then it goes to the next one. If that evaluates to true, then it returns true. Otherwise, the first time it evaluates to false, it returns a false. And that becomes much more concise. We don't have to have the full if then else statement. Now let's check that out, see how these are working. I'm just going to copy in some console log statements so I don't have to type them all out. We have a situation where it should be true. We have a situation where it's false because it doesn't meet the last criteria. And we have a situation where it should be false because it doesn't meet the second set of criteria. So a couple of different opportunities to see how it works. So let me go ahead and save that and we'll refresh. And you can see both statements return the same thing. So we're basically getting the same thing just with a concise expression. And hopefully what you've gained from this is a better understanding of how the logical operators and truthy and falsy work together. That can help you in a number of situations in JavaScript. And that was really the desire of this tutorial. That's really what I wanted to get out of this tutorial. Now before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others on YouTube find this tutorial. Also hit the bell button to be notified about new tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure you do that. You can hit the subscribe button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tu tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for full courses and a complete list of tutorials. Thanks for watching.